Hi, I'm Peter Matheson, the principal of the University of Edinburgh, and it's my very great pleasure to just say a few words of congratulations to the class of 2020 on your graduation. Normally, uh, we would be here in McEwen Hall with you and your loved ones and some staff to share in your celebrations, but in these present circumstances, unfortunately, we're having to do it uh, by remote video recording and uh, you will all be somewhere uh, in the world, but not here in uh, McEwen Hall with me. Nevertheless, the congratulations are no smaller. So well done, fantastic achievement on completing your latest degree. I know that the majority of you are postgraduates, so you've been through this before, but you've accumulated another milestone in your education and you should be very proud of yourselves in the way that we are very proud of you. Completing a degree at the University of Edinburgh is a fantastic achievement and will give you a passport to success for the rest of your life. Edinburgh degrees are respected all over the world and rightly so, that respect is earned from over 400 years of heritage here at your university. So we, at this point in your career, we want to just say a few messages to you. First of all, uh, congratulations, well done and all the very best for the future. Secondly, we want you to just uh, take stock of the journey that you've been on in the last period of time. Compare yourself now with the person that you were when you started here in Edinburgh. Think about the new friends that you've made, the new contacts, the new knowledge, the new experiences. You have changed in the time that you've been here and I would bet you've changed for the better. We also want to think about the other people that will be celebrating with you and in a normal graduation ceremony I would ask for three rounds of applause. We always uh, ask for a round of applause for you, for the graduands, because it's your day and your achievements that we're celebrating. We also ask for a round of applause for all the people at the university that have helped you, all the staff, the teaching and research staff, but also all the other staff groups that do so much to keep this complex organization running and do a lot of work to make sure that the graduation ceremonies run smoothly. And thirdly, and very often the loudest uh, round of applause is for your loved ones, all the people that have made sacrifices for you, all the people that have been through the lows and the highs with you over the period of your studies. It's their day as well. They'll be celebrating wherever they are. Some that can't be with you for whatever reason uh, will be in your memories, I'm sure, and you'll be thinking about the contributions that other people have made to your success. So we want you to stay in touch with us. We have platform one, the uh, online program which allows you to keep in touch with each other and with people here back at the university. We want you to come back and see us, tell us how you're getting on. Maybe you'll come back here and do yet another degree or you'll come back here as a teacher or researcher and maybe one day you'll come back and do my job. Whatever it is you do, we wish you all the very best. We ask you to remember Edinburgh, you're joining a family of a quarter of a million uh, alumni all over the world a very distinguished group which you have now become a member of. Very well done, all best wishes for the future. We will hope to have formal graduation ceremonies back here and give you the opportunity to attend. But in the meantime, remotely, but with no less warmth, I wish you sincere congratulations and all the very best. And thank you for choosing the University of Edinburgh. Congratulations, and well done on uh, getting your degrees. You'll be wondering now maybe what's next. And the good news is that there's never been a better time to be a scientist, an engineer, a mathematician, because your skills are sorely needed. It's not just rebuilding out of COVID. It's not just healthcare. Um, it's dealing with other challenges, climate change, how to structure society in different ways how we uh, keep communities together now that we have a slightly different version of normal for how that is done. And science has actually shaped an awful lot of that already, but it needs people like you to shape it still further. And I hope one of the things that Edinburgh has given you is the broad view that enables you not only to be quite deeply skilled as a scientist, an engineer, or a mathematician, but also to look across and work with others in the large teams that it will take to tackle some of these very large um, human issues that we'll all face. Uh, so as you go through, I hope you have many opportunities to tackle these sorts of problems. 
Uh, I hope that you feel that you're able to harness the talents that you've acquired with us here. And I hope that you look back fondly on what you've learned with us uh, and feel that that has given you the mental uh, equipment to help you tackle some of these um, issues. Thank you very much for being part of the community at Edinburgh. Thanks for being part of this year's uh, pivot to hybrid uh, teaching and all, all of the uh, adaptation and experiment that that has uh, required. And very good luck in your future careers. Do good in the world. I'm Professor Krohor Obradi, Head of the School of Engineering. It's my great pleasure to congratulate all of our engineering graduates at today's virtual winter graduation ceremony. You've worked hard over the last years and fully, the deser fully deserve the degrees being awarded today. Whether it's a taught postgraduate degree that you've spent the last 12 months studying on, or whether it's a four or five year undergraduate degree that you're receiving, or a PhD or research master's which has taken several years to complete. I'd like to applaud your hard work and achievement on behalf of all of the staff of the School of Engineering. The fact that we are celebrating this virtually rather than as normal in McEwen Hall and afterwards in our engineering reception does not lessen in any way the value of the, of the degree that you're receiving today from the University of Edinburgh. I would have liked to have met as many of you as possible and your families in person, but that's unfortunately not allowed this year. This aspect of the winter graduation ceremony is one of my two favorite events in the year, and the other one is the summer graduation ceremony. I have to confess to being a tiny bit relieved not to have my twice yearly chore of getting the pronunciation of everyone's names as correct as possible. As someone with a difficult to pronounce name myself, I know how important it is to get everyone's names right on the big occasion. Finally, be assured that as the world recovers from the COVID pandemic, it will still need engineers, more so than ever, to come up with solutions for the various problems that our societies face now and in the future. So congratulations again, and well done from everyone in engineering. Thank you so much, first to God, to make this possible, to my family, to my friends, and for my scholarship, Tivinin and the car, thank you so much. Thank you.
get it. I would like to thank my wife, my parents, and my parents-in-law for always encouraging and supporting me in this special year. Love you. Very happy to be awarded the degree, and I'm here to thank my supervisor, Dr. Alistair Hamilton. And many thanks for your help. Thank you. Hello, I'm Steven. Uh, I'm glad uh, I graduated from Edinburgh University. Uh, I hope everyone can have a bright future and a happy life. Finally did it.
I would like to thank you all of you who have helped me a lot during the past one year. I'm proud to hold a master's degree from the University of Edinburgh. Thank you to all the professors who ensured an exceptional learning experience that will add a great value to my career. Hi, happy graduation to everyone. Thank you for this amazing year to all my friends, colleagues and teachers. Hope you have an amazing day, a lovely next year, and thank you for everything. Cheers! Like to dedicate this to all my family in Colombia. Gracias, mami. Gracias, Laura, por todo el apoyo y la paciencia durante este año. Y gracias a todos los que de una manera u otra me apoyaron. Eso también es dedicado a ustedes. to my friends and family for the support during this year. To the class of 
2020 are graduates. You've reached what is traditionally the happiest point of your career, your graduation under the most challenging of circumstances. And it's understandable that you might not be feeling as excited or as you might have done if you were celebrating in person, in the normal way, in the McEwen Hall, in your gowns, with family and friends in Bristol Square, in the sunshine, because as you know, it's, it's always sunny in Edinburgh. But you've already achieved so much. You've completed your degree at Edinburgh under the threat of a global pandemic. You should be proud of that. It's a unique experience living through what will be one of the most talked about periods of modern history. And you've owned it and you will now thrive. The next stages of your life and career carry so much promise. You'll leave this place, the University of Edinburgh, a changed person from who you were when you arrived. This is the end of the first stage of an amazing life and we're exceptionally proud of you all. You'll now go on to do what you love, what you feel passionate about. You'll continue to meet more people and do more things that you might not think possible. You'll do things that have not even been invented yet, work in jobs that don't exist yet. The shaping of the world is actually yours. Your future awaits and you'll have such a good time in it. Do something you love, do something that makes a change for the better, do something that helps others, but do it all with passion. Edinburgh graduates make the world a better place. It's been like this for almost half a millennia. You follow in these footsteps, and more importantly, you're gonna to start to quickly leave your own footsteps. And if you haven't found your passion, or if you're not quite clear on that path, don't worry, just keep looking for it. Don't compromise, it'll follow. Meanwhile, we'll be here, ready to help you, to support you in any way. We can't wait to see you on your journey. Good luck to everyone. Keep in touch. This is always a home for you, whatever life brings.